What do you think of AI art? I wanted to do this video to talk a little bit about this subject because of course it's a hot topic and I have an opinion just like everybody else has an opinion about it. However, I'm going to come at it at a very different angle. I'm not in the I hate AI art group or I'm in the I love the AI art group. I am right in the center. I've always been that of a diplomat and I've always been somebody to see the positives and negatives of everything. But also if there's something that there's negative, I'm always in the camp where I'm like, we need to do something about it rather than complaining about it. So AI has been around for a long time. I know a lot of people think that AI is new and it's not. It's been around for tons and tons of years, a very long time. Automation, I mean, anything you can think of that has to do with any type of automation or gathering of information and quantifying that and turning that into something else, there is a lot of artificial intelligence that's already been in the world. It's just kind of newer to the art world. And when it seeped into the art world, it really polarized artists, creatives, musicians, uh, filmmakers and photographers because there are some negative aspects to it. Just like any technology that's been introduced into the world, that is going to be the truth of it. When the internet was introduced into the world, it shook everybody up. People lost jobs and look, it's still here today. We had to define laws and rules. We had to go in and work with the technology and find out what was the best way to use it for the betterment of humankind. And we still have really crappy things going on on the internet. We still have dark places and bad things that happen because that's just the world we live in. No matter if it's technology or walking out on the street, there's going to be positives and negatives and it's how you deal with all of that. If you are an artist right now and you are fearing that AI is going to take over and you're going to lose your art career, I don't believe that to be true. I actually think that people that do art, fine art, collectors are gonna be more apt to wanna buy real art because so many people are leaning into AI art. But there's also been a bit of a drop in sales and interest because right now AI art is a shiny object. So people are interested whether or not they're people that are not artists that think that they can be artists by it or they're artists that are using it as a tool right now or somebody who's just obsessed with it because one of the aspects of it that's a little scary is that it's obsessive. Just like gambling or video games, it has that kind of obsessive quality if you don't know how to use it right. And there are people that are spending hours and hours and hours and days and days and days wrapped into this, and that's kind of scary. But there are other people who are using it, like I said, as a tool in a correct way. Now, this conversation is super complex because it's like, how can you use AI as a tool in a positive way if it has went ahead out in the internet, grabbed a bunch of people's stuff, took it in and is using that information to generate more art, more video, anything that you're needing that you're prompting. And if you find that that's a problem for you, if you're an artist and your art has been trained, there are websites that will let you look into that. There's different programs now where people will allow you to embed, inf embed information into your art that doesn't allow different AI models to train it. There's different things like that that are out there. But if you're somebody who is upset because your art has been trained by AI and they pull this information, for example, off of Facebook, understand that when you posted your stuff on Facebook, you signed away your rights to that already. And I think a lot of people forget that, that when they post their art on certain sites, that there are these long documentations on those sites that say, hey, we can do whatever we want with your art. We can do whatever. We can put in advertising, we can print it, we can sell your information. 
and then people get upset about that. So this is one of the things that I feel is extremely important. If you are not pleased that your art's been trained by AI, if you are not pleased by other, that other artists have been trained by AI, if you feel like your art has been stolen, if you are angry about it, I understand posting on Facebook or Instagram and writing blogs about how upset you are. But when we're in a world where we're dealing with things that we're unhappy with, complaining and being a keyboard jockey on Facebook is not going to get you anywhere. It might get you a little camaraderie between the people that feel the same, which is nice. I mean, with anything, it's nice to have camaraderie. It's nice to have people that believe the same as you, no matter what it is. It's nice to have that. But if you don't like something and you're unhappy about it, then do something about it. There are two camps, like I said. There are people that hate it and there are people that are using it to their advantage. People that are using it are using it. They're doing things with it. They're actually using it and creating and doing things. They're moving in a direction whether or not you like it or not. And almost everybody who dislikes it is doing nothing but complaining. So if you dislike it, Perhaps you should write a letter to Congress. You should write a letter to an organization that's maybe fighting it. Because as a person who is very technically savvy, I've been in the tech world for 25 years. I'm a web developer. I've been doing graphic design. I do videography. I have my hands in tons of AI in business relations and automations through different programs, through different companies that I've set up their systems for. And for me, I feel like there's going to be a need for people to want to set up rules. You want to set up rules, you want to set up regulations, and with any new technology, that is a really important thing to do. We need to have rules. We need to have regulations. We need to be able to say, this is right, this is wrong. You can do this, you can do that. And the only way to get that going is to find organizations that are fighting that and join them, you know, give them money, be a part of it, write letters. There are so many different ways that you can get involved. But sitting on Facebook, po posting rants about why you're unhappy about AI might feel good in the moment, but truly you're not doing anything to advance the ways in which you could help motivate those that have created this AI to do it in a better way. So for example, if you're very unpleased with the fact that AI is training living art, tra being trained with living artists, perhaps friends of yours are being trained on these AI systems. I have many, 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 many friends and acquaintances that have posted, look, I have had 50 things of mine trained on AI, or look, my name is being prompted, or if you search me in Google, all these AI renditions come up of my work that are not my work. Understandably so that that's extremely upsetting. But sitting here complaining, creating videos, creating blogs, creating posts on the internet are not going to get you going where you want to go. It's time to start fighting the fight if you want to fight the fight and get in there and do something that's going to make a difference. And if you're somebody who likes AI and you're like, it's fine, then you should really think about using it ethically. And ethically is don't use living artist names. And there's a bunch of other stuff. Like I can't get in the middle of that. I, I cannot give any support to how AI can be used appropriately, but there's got to be ways. And the reason I say that is because it's not going anywhere. We have so many people like banging and, and yelling and screaming and fighting about it when there's going to have to be an acceptance because AI is not going anywhere. It's infiltrated into everything. We're talking, it's even going to be infiltrated into fast food here in a short minute. We see these memes online where people are like, well, instead of it making art, maybe it should do my laundry. Well, there are things like that that are coming and are going to be an important part of our society to make things better. But AI is in everything. It's in business, film. You think about people selling, you know, 
products online, all of these different, I'm talking like, you know, corporations or, you know, mid-sized businesses, they're using AI in their packaging, they're using AI in their marketing, like this is a part of life. There's no way that this is going to go away. It's kind of like the internet. I keep telling people that. And so many people believe that AI is just going to go away. It is not. The internet came and the internet's been here a very long time because it's become a way of life and AI is the same. So if you're fighting for it to go away, it's not going to go away. You just have to find a way that you can fit it into your life. And if you hate it, fight it. If you like it, use it, but don't sit there and complain about it because you're not getting anywhere. Complaining doesn't get you anywhere. We can, we can complain to our friends. We can share our opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging people that have an opinion, but if you are so strongly, you know, adamant about your hate, then do something about it. And this is why I'm making this video because I sit here and watch this on the internet all day long. And I think there's just so many things that could be moving forward if people were actually taking action steps to move it forward. If you want AI to be better, if you want it to be moral, if you want it to have rules and regulations, if you want there to be things that are implemented into it to change the trajectory of the future of AI, then you have to get involved. You have to. So that is my opinion, my view of it. I think that there is so much to talk about. In the short video, I cannot discuss all the things. And also it is moving at such a crazy speed of light. Like every week there's something new going on that is hard to keep up with. And remember, people can change their opinions. You know, people can hate it and then decide that they like it. People can like it and then later decide that they hate it. But I think I would encourage people out there that although people have a different opinion than you, and this is with politics and everything else, the thing that divides us the most is when saying somebody doesn't believe like I believe, so I want nothing to do with them. I'm a person that believes in diplomacy. I'm a person that believes that there's some middle ground. And you know what? I don't have to like everything my friends believe. I don't have to like everything the people in my life stand for because I would have literally no people in my life if I had so strict guidelines of how people must believe like me, think like me, have the same morals as me, you know, walk the same streets as me, have the same friends, whatever the case may be. I think we need to be a little bit more loving and gentle and kind. And if there's somebody you know who really like enjoys AI, you might want to find out why. I think the understanding of why is always good. Same with politics and um, different things that you might be having a stance on within the world, such as marriage or this or that is there's so much hate and hate doesn't get us anywhere trying to find a middle ground trying to come together and not polarize ourselves is going to actually move things in a better direction rather than being polarized and the whole world does that the idea is to polarize so we don't grow and if we find a way where we can work together to better understand both sides and try to find a reasonable way forward that's going to positively impact the lives of both sides, then we're moving in a really great direction. And the world's not fair. That's just the way it is. It's not fair. It's never going to be everything you want it to be. And sometimes you just have to live in life and go, this is what is, and I either accept it or I don't. And if I don't accept it, what can I do about it? And if I can't do anything about it, then I probably need to spend my time doing something else enjoyable, like painting and making art. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know I don't do a lot of commentary videos. I don't do a lot of opinion videos, but there are some things that I feel strongly about and they're in my head. And I just wanted to share that with you. So I'll see you guys in another video again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed the commentary and want to hear more opinions 
about different subject matters, perhaps put some subjects down below that you'd like to know about and we'll go from there. And don't forget, I'm on Patreon. All right, I'll see you guys soon.